Hey guys, good morning. This is an exciting, really, really exciting day for me. I traveled over an hour to get to Chiba for what many people say is the best ramen in Japan, hence the best ramen in the world. Also, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my friend Lee who told me about this place. This place is called Tomita Ramen and it's not the best because I say so. It actually ranks at the top of the Japanese ramen database and this place is known for the Tsuke Soba or Tsukamen, which is a dipping ramen. I'm really excited about that because that's one of my favorite type of ramen. But here's the thing, um, because it's a small shop with about 10 seats, Getting in, it's it's not easy. They start handing out tickets at 7.30 in the morning. I got here today at 9.30 in the morning uh, and they gave me this and told me to come back at 12.30. So basically I have a three hour wait ahead of me, but I hear if you get here around noon or later, you're not getting in for the day. And this is just a weekday. So I'm thinking on a Saturday, you gotta be here at 7.30 in the morning or even early. I heard people start lining up sometimes at 6.30 in the morning. So yeah, longest wait ever for ramen, but for the best one in Japan, that's gonna be worth it. You get to the door, there's instructions on how to line up. Of course, everything is in Japanese. And the ramen vending machine is right outside. So you pay for your ramen first, and they come out and they give you a ticket. And then, of course, they tell you the time. And this place has been featured in the documentary Ramen Heads. And after I got my ticket, the guy told me, I have to be here at 12.30 sharp. Like, I must be here. Little he knows about me, I'll be here at 12. 11.50, I'm back, ready for my bowl of ramen. Line already formed. I don't think I've ever anticipated a bowl of ramen as much as I do right now, just because I've heard so much about it. The expectation is really high right now. Sitting down, so excited. Uh, I'm outside again. Don't be early either. Just, just be here at the time they tell you to be here. Anyway, mistaken identity, all sorts of stuff. We'll go in the next round. And that's why they have the exclamation mark at the end, okay? Don't be late. Also, don't be early. There's the documentary, and there's the man himself. Arigatou So pretty. Well, thank you. Tell me this is not the most beautiful set of ramen you have ever seen in your life. That's good. There's two different types of chashu. One, circular. Fatty on the outside, lean in the middle. This looks like the circle of life right here. The other type is more lean, more lean bacon. And the third type, oh my gosh, interesting. This is a really rare piece of pork. To my go egg, and then a couple more chunks of roasted pork as well. So one, two, three, three different types of pork for this bowl. The broth itself looks thick. Seaweed, fish cake, onions, scallions. Oh, this is a rich looking broth. Oh my gosh. Bamboo, looks like on the inside. Really, really thick. The prize is the noodles. I mean, these are just the most beautiful ramen noodles I've ever seen in my life. I mean, if there's ever a ramen beauty pageant, this thing will win this ramen universe. Smooth, perfect ramen. And this is chuka soba, so it's made with wheat. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The broth is so thick, it's covering every single surface area of these noodles. And these noodles are pretty wide, pretty wide, pretty straight. First taste. I'm, I'm sorry, is it Christmas morning today? Because that's how delightful I feel right now after that first bite of this incredible ramen. The noodle texture is so springy and chewy. The mouthfeel is almost unlike any other noodle I've ever had before. And this broth, it's a mixture. I think it tastes a little seafood, pork, and it is so incredibly creamy and satisfying. This is a pure euphoric experience right now. And the chashu. That might be the best piece of chashu I've ever had in a ramen restaurant, ever. That thing completely melts in your mouth. The smoky flavor is incredible. Outside, so incredibly fatty. The inside, and chewy and porky. Everything is so tender. It goes perfectly with the chewy noodle texture. This I never had before. Mmm, oh that is smoky. Make sure you get the extra 
order of meat when you come here. That tastes so clean, fatty, and juicy, and everything. Everything that's good about pork was that piece of meat right there. This is the more lean piece of pork meat. That pig just bum rushed me with flavor. This is the smokiest piece of meat on this plate. Mmm, every single bite, everything complements the noodle and the broth right here. The lean pork. Mm. I cannot stress enough how flavorful and smoky every single piece of meat is. It's like the pigs themselves flew up to hog heaven and then flew back into your mouth. Everything is just playing supporting role to the best noodle broth combination ever. If the eggs here don't pull at Ichiran, this will be by far the best ramen place I've ever had in my life. There it is. I recognize that eggy sunset anywhere. Eat that with some of the noodles. I've never been more happy to be alive and eating than at this exact moment. No songs I can sing, no poetry I can write can begin even to describe or do justice to how good this ramen is. This is like Superman and all other ramen are, are basically a bankrupt Batman. Nothing comes close. This is the best ramen I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Heavenly needles, it means godly broth equals a divine ramen. And, and they can add soup stock at the end of the meal. So the, 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 the broth I have left is really, really thick. They're now adding more soup to it so I can enjoy that on its own. Here's the broth, a little much lighter, much clearer now. Big soup spoon. Oh, that broth is magical. Mm, I'll definitely taste the anchovies now. Mm. Great way to wrap up that meal. All right, I gotta get out of here because, oh, I just tasted the yuzu. There's yuzu in here as well. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's even more amazing. Okay, I gotta get out of here because we're the last one, so. Uh, see you outside. Okay, now that I'm outside, I can, I can raise my voice a bit. That was incredible. That was the best, the best ramen experience I've ever had. Oh gosh, Ichi who? Like, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding, Ichi, I still love you. But. Holy cow. It's like I just came back on a date with Halle Berry. I don't even know how to react right now. That was just so magical. It's like Tomita-san just took me on a magic ramen carpet ride. When I was filming the Michelin star noodles in, uh, in Tokyo, it was about 70, 80% tourists. A lot of people from the US, a lot of people from other countries, but here's mainly locals eating here. I don't think as many people know about this place as they should. So if you want the best ramen experience in your life, this is it. I mean, this is no joke, guys. This place, head over shoulders, better than any other ramen I've ever had. I'm lingering, I don't even wanna walk away. I'm just kinda like playing all back in my head. But there is a downside to all this. Where can I eat ramen again, especially in the US? I think the best thing might be, treat this like a, like a great relationship that's just ran its course, you know? Like, this is like trying to move on after having Astrid from Crazy Rich Asians as your wife. Where, where do you go from there? I don't even know. I think my noodle life is gonna get a whole lot worse and a whole lot more depressing after this experience yeah and the only way to really cure that is to move like next door that, that's like the only way that was love at first slurp everything just keeps upping the ante like the noodles just the best chashu best broth best. just i just can't i, I can't even I, i'm emotionally spent right now from from that experience like just emotionally fulfilled and tired at the same time because that was a huge food high for me all right well i said enough you, I, I think by this point you get how much I love this place and how quickly you should be adding this to the top of your food bucket list. Of course, as always, information for this place is in my description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until we eat again, and of course, I'm really looking forward to eating here again. I'll see you later. Hey guys, I, I knew I couldn't leave Japan without coming back to this legendary ramen shop one more time. You'll know what I mean once you try it. You just, I, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It's been haunting me, it's been haunting my dreams. I gotta have another slurp. I got here late today, but I can make the four o'clock seating. Well, I need the bigger one this time. I was actually afraid I wasn't able to get a seat today because I showed up at about 10.30 on a Sunday um, and they're not even open yet, but I got the four o'clock seating and I ordered a bigger noodle and the staff last time I tried to order the big one, they told me it's too big, so they told me to order the regular one. But come on, 
it's never too big. If you love noodles, if you love ramen as much as I do, you got a good appetite, make sure you get the bigger portion here. Let me see how big it is later today, but I'm telling you, I'm taking that thing down. Right now, uh, it's, it's a much longer wait than it was last time I was here. Last time I waited for three hours. Today is a five hour wait. Fun, something to do and eat before then. This is my pre-ramen food. Because I'm eating that ramen later, I, I literally don't care what I put in my stomach right now. Plus, McDonald's in Japan is actually pretty good. A grape soda ice cream float. Did I order the wrong burger or did this thing shrink? Still yummy though. I love the grapes in this country. Mmm. Uh, it's really yummy. Also, you can't come to McDonald's in Japan without getting an EV burger. This thing will never let you down. Crunchy and shrimpy. That was an excruciatingly long five hours. But I'm back and the difference is right now it's a little rainy. This is perfect ramen weather. Couldn't ask for a better setting. First in line, of course. Can't wait to get started again. I know this is my second time eating here, but I'm just as excited, if, if not even more so, because I know how good this is now. They gave me apron this time. Would have been helpful last time because, yeah, spotted myself. Oh my god, I didn't realize they had instant noodles. Something else you can buy at 7-Eleven apparently. How he cuts because I lost. Oh man, my ultra big bowl. This is about twice the amount of noodles I got last time, I think. Again, I'm just stunned by the beauty of these noodles. So reflectively amazing, right? Look at this, you just wanna run your chopsticks over it. Delicious assortment of chashu I've ever had in the magical broth. And if you listen, it's just a chorus of slurping. I think I should join in. The greatest slurp you will ever experience in the ramen world. I also love dip ramen so much because it's such an intimate way of eating ramen. I mean, you're really getting involved here. My favorite chasho ever. And the egg is what glorious sunsets are made of. And as my noodle experience comes to an end, don't forget about the soup. Here it is. I know I'm wearing this shirt, but this thing needs no hot oil. Mm. Something I rarely say when it comes to noodles or soup. The perfect finale to that majestic ramen experience. Just like last time, I'm left with this happy, satisfied, yet very sad feeling. It's so weird, like the yuzu flavor always hits me at the end because it, it sinks to the bottom. God, I love that. Thank you so much. It was the best I've ever had. This is the ramen king right here. Truly, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Second time was almost better than the first. This might be the last time I'm here while I'm still in Japan, but I, I, I gotta go. But you guys need to come here and try this place out. This is truly the Disneyland of ramen right here. This is a magical place. A couple things I learned. First of all, you should get the bigger portion. You should because you should eat more of those noodles. I, I think I took it down and I'm still kind of hungry right now. And definitely were a bit because it looked like the, the ramen was trying to take a revenge and shot at me. Anyway, the information for this place again is located in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.